All right, so um, this is all basic stuff. It just goes over, let me just click on one here, how to uh, basically, as if you've never used the program, this is how you would go and uh, get to know the control center dashboard, what's, con what's you know, contained in there. So it's very basic. But I'm trying to give you lesson lengths as well, so you don't think, oh my gosh, how long is this going to take me? Right. So you'll have an idea, right? So these are all pretty basic here in the beginning. The second section, though, this is where I get into where you actually start writing your first estimate. Yep. Oops. Where did that? You guys end up making my screen big. Sorry. I'm not very happy with this interface. Yeah, let's see. Apply. All right. So under that one. So that's when you. That's how you first write write your first estimate, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay. So ten minutes. The whole, this whole section probably will take an hour for people. Yep. yep. Um, okay, and you tell me, is this what we want to be doing right now, or what, what would you guys like me to do? Yeah, no, show. No, I, wa I want to see, it basically, from start to finish, um, what it's about. So, yeah, absolutely. Is this good? Okay, I just want to make sure I'm not just rambling. And <laughs> no, yeah, no, we need to we see the content itself. So Sure. Yeah, because so I would add, you know, I'd be an ideal potential client, right? So I'm going to tell you what I think of it. And sure. Absolutely. Um, and there is, I'm sorry, on the main header, this is the claim that we're going to be working on, and I would have everybody download this information. And then we just work together on creating that first claim here through these four like steps. So I didn't really claim. show you that. Yeah, it's um, yeah, it's like a put together. Yeah, I can just send it to you if you want to see it. Um, and then common exactimate is issues just goes over whenever you first uh, have done your first claim. If you if you've closed a weird window or gotten lost somewhere, I cover that here in this uh, this video. Oh so, yeah. That's the stuff, yeah. like the hiccups where you're just like, what in the actual fug? Where did this yeah. go? This why is there. No, this? it's not. Why? Yeah, why? So I, I included that there in the basics. So there you go. Um, then the third section here, setting up your company in Xactimate, is um, I think everybody, even if you've used the program before, should go through this because you may have something set up incorrectly and don't even know it. Um, so I have some time-saving things I go through in there. So let me scroll down so I can expand that better. Okay, so which profile are, are you writing your estimates in? Actually, um, when I went to Minneapolis at Hoffman Weber, they were using the contractor profile when they could have been using the carrier profile, which shows a lot more options and things. So I go over that in that video. How to create a company header, if you guys have never, most people have branded their estimates, that's probably a pretty basic one. Um, most people don't use opening statements, I think that's a big one. How do you add new um, people or users to the program if you need to. Mm -hmm. That's another one. I'm not very happy with this navigation. I don't know how that looks on y'all's screen. That's fine. But I'm having to scroll down and go back and hover. So anyhow, editing preferences. Um, so you can set up all these time-saving things and preferences um, that will save you time uh, that are presets like defaults. So I go into that in that video. And I lost it. Uh, do, 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 do. And that's it. So those are the six topics that are in there. Okay. Any questions on those? So there's only six uh, topics over on the left-hand side, and everything else I'm seeing pop up are the subtopics, right? Is that what you said, setting up? One, two, three, four, five, six. So okay. if I hover over setting up your company, I have six blue topics. Do you see those there? Right. Yeah. I think Joe's yes. asking how many main topics. How many are main? How many main topics do you have? Oh, okay, right. how many main topics? Sure. Okay, so we've got setting up. We've got begin to master exact me. So one, two, three, setting up your company. Fourth one, basic roof sketching. Fifth one, basic roof estimating, because I teach you how to sketch, and then I teach you how to estimate... Uh, Put, you know, put together the, the claim. Okay. So that was five. As advanced estimating concepts is six. Estimating multiple traits, seven. Supplementing the estimate, eight. Images, nine. Intermediate roof sketch, ten. Live supplementing, eleven. Advanced sketch te techniques is twelve. Perfect. Okay. So far. Because new ones come up as I create these. I'm like, oh, I need, another, I need a whole header for that. So that's, we're at twelve right now. Sure. This is going to be yeah. so si like time-saving for business owners. Like, I'm just looking. Is, 
Is there a rhyme or reason why you have it in the order you do over here? Yes, it's the way I teach my live classes. Okay. I've been doing that for four years, pretty much have tweaked it down to what people seem to respond to. It's okay. not set in stone, however. These are easy to move around if they mm -hmm. don't make sense. So right now they're kind of in the order that my live class is taught. Okay. Yeah, did you have a – do you see well, that, So you have – a couple things in here that are specific to roofs, right? If yes. I'm looking for an exactimate mastery class, well, I'm going to want to know how to estimate more than just the roofs, but since you have, I think there's like four or five subjects on the side that are just roofs, I group them together because if, okay. I'm, if I'm looking to do the roof stuff, then boom, 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 it's all right there. Okay. And see, that's not, yeah, so that's, um, that's a really stuff. good point. Yeah, are you doing like siding and gutters, like the other type of stuff too, Alina? That's in your estimating multiple trades section here. Okay. Yeah, so I go into that after I teach the roofs, because most people want to get the roofs at least, because most people do roofs. First and foremost. Sure. Right. Yeah, 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 right? And then we need to build on that, and that's where the multiple trades come in. What about like uh, for mitigation and that kind of stuff? Is that part of this, or is this going to be more for the stormers for the exterior stuff? This right now is I'm trying to knock out the stormers and exterior stuff. Okay. Mitigation is just a whole bunch of root sketching rooms yep. and then adding the air handlers and everything. So um, that could totally go in here. I would like it to go in here, but I'm concentrating right now on the stuff, you know, the market that is really asking for this, which is the, you know, storm chaser guys or storm restoration guys. Right. Not storm chasers. Chasers. Yeah. I know. I've been talking to adjusters today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. Uh, um, yeah, so good thought there. Um, and then, of course, there's just a bunch of topics that will be underneath each of these as well. Um, yeah, so there's a lot under that one. What was this topic? Okay, this is advanced estimating concepts. Okay. Yeah. So. The alter alternative search me method is the one that caught my eye. <laughs> there's many ways to search, but there's only you know, you know one what, way though? that people usually know. Yeah, and that's a great tool tool right there because I remember being like, where in the hell is like item X? And it's just because we refer to it as one thing, but if you yeah. search it that way, or like it would say, like. Um, What's the one that they, the name is weird? It's not ridge vent. Oh, continuous. You have to search continuous, oh, continuous. ridge vent. Yeah. But if you just put ridge vent, it's like, womp, find, womp, yeah. like zero results. You're like, what? Really? Yeah. It's, and that frustrated me forever. I couldn't figure it out. So little stuff like that is kind of what develops into a big hang up for most people. So attacking some of those things and be like, here are the most common things. You're going to be like, what the heck? Here's yes. how you find them, you know, searching. That's the goal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Um, yeah, so there's a lot under that one uh, as well. You got mechanics of line items. I don't think people know what they include um, either, so what's included in a line item. Um, mechanics Which, is more like, oh, go ahead. Not to interrupt you. That's fine. But mechanics of line items is so important because when you're supplementing it's something and huge. the adjuster uses the blanket like, well, that's included in this. <laughs> and yep. now you're really showing people like, here's how to prove that it is or isn't, you know. Right. Yeah, that's it's a fun one. I actually had to go through that today. <laughs> no, I really, I that I like. That's huge, just mm -hmm. because cool. of that reason. And yeah. you know, these could be main topics. I've just kind of, you know, put if that's something that catches your eye, you're like advanced estimating concepts. Eh, I don't know if I need that. Yeah, or not. but then everything would be like the main topic. <laughs> so you put the alternative search okay. method, mechanics of line item. What's yeah. included okay. in the line item? Yeah, so no, that's you haven't set up very well. Okay, maybe though on the front page I could put here is an outline of the class, and so you could see, be prepped for what's where. Would that right. be good? Yes. Show a picture of it because that's one thing that I <laughs> needed it. My <laughs> it's colors like a, and pictures. It's like a hundred <laughs> lessons long at this point, so people are like, ah, oh, like where is it? So that might be, if yours is a little bit more condensed, because you can definitely put something like that, like where to find what. Right. Exactly, yeah. So I'll, I'll get to work on that. That's That'll be pretty easy. Um, 
and then just the rest, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. So, advanced estimating contents. Um, and then the live supplementing, I'm going to take some of my files that I'm currently working on my uh, in with my supplementing business that I have. Yeah. Um, and I will show three videos here of live files that I supplement and how I do it and my processes, you know. Yeah. How do I identify? Here's how I look at it through my... That's something that I I like to do as well. Is just like here's the here's how to look at it through the supplementing lens. Like right. here's your claim. Mm -hmm. What's missing? Why is that missing? Why so is that uh, that's what you supplement? That's your business. That's a side business. I, I started out training, okay. and then I used okay. So I started out training adjusters for cat cat adjusters. I did that for three years, and then I did not like the company I was working for. I thought they were kind of weird, so I broke out and started doing my own training. <laughs> Then I found out, you know, contractors need this, not just address adjusters, and they kind of need it more to, def, you know, to to be able to play in the industry. So I went and I started training contractors, and everybody said, "Well, what about supplements?" I'm like, "What are supplements?" So then I started learning about supplements. So I actually went and supplemented for a company. Then I started my own supplementing company, so I'd have more control. So I started training, and then I got on a side path, and now I know what works supplementing, so I can train you. From what I've learned in that business, right? Very good. That's now, my story. Where were you at in life that got you into Xactimate? My dad used to be their a trainer for them. He was he worked directly for them. So what was he a contractor in his lifetime and adjuster? Oh yes. Okay. Yeah, he was twenty five years uh, um, general contractor, and then he became a home inspector for real estate. Okay. His contracting really wore on him, and he was just tired. And then we had the real estate crash in 2008. He went and found a job at the exact where I lost my job in real estate. Well, I was just tired of it anyways. In about 2009, 2010, went to go work. And he said, you know what? You'd be great at teaching webinars. You're not afraid of computers. I'm like, sure, let me do this. And so I fell into webinars. And then I got into live training. And then I started my own business. And now I'm doing this. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Well, it's great so. because, you know, live, we've talked about this before, but live training, like, I have a beef with live trainings if that's what somebody's relying on to learn something because you spend, you know, a thousand dollars or fifteen hundred dollars to g travel, take four days off to go somewhere, sit in a class, like your ass hurts, and you're trying to remember everything, but you're yeah. trying to keep up with people. And if you get behind, well, you're screwed. You're not gonna unless you find somebody to get their notes and have someone else secondhand teach you. And then after three days, your brain is fried. You go home, and all you have, you've retained like. 80 percent or like you've lot forgotten like 80 percent of the information you know, already not, not like 95 percent of it for <laughs> yeah. something like that those are worthless they really generous are. yeah and then you've got they your were... notes that like just look like this and you're like uh -huh. what, what does that even say and <laughs> you right wasted here. your money yeah. it's a bunch of hieroglyphics yeah right. and you know. can't teach it to someone else you have to spend your time teaching it to someone else mm -hmm. to do it that way so to have it just here we have the core. Here's how you do it, because Exactware itself is so useless. Like their yeah, their no, Q and A, it it's like useless, and you have to pay to ask some questions. Like every question you ask, you have to like pay them <laughs> to ask the question. Yeah, it's twenty bucks a question. Yeah, mm -hmm. and if you have multiple salespeople throughout the year that need to learn that program, it's like uh, it's ridiculous. It. It's ridiculous. So, yeah. No, I the, love uh, it. It's a great idea. So. Side note, funny story. The first time uh, I called to ask a question and they said it was 20 bucks a question, I asked them, I was like, so if I asked you to go fuck yourself, is that 20 bucks? <laughs> Sorry. You just spent it. That was your question. Uh, now you have to pay $40 if you have a real question. No, the guy was pretty cool about it. He's like, yeah, absolutely. We just billed you. <laughs> You'll find your invoice in your inbox. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So next question? No. Right. Yeah. Did they eliminate the uh, Eagle View Xactimate correlation where you could uh, drop, drop the in? XML file in? Yes, they did, but there's oh, a but way around it. Those fuckers. Those fuckers. Don't you teach it in here, Alina? I do. Yeah, she's got it in there. I mean, that right there is... Advanced estimating concepts, I think. All right. I would like to... I mean, if I got to pay right now, I'll pay, you know, at least uh, get going with this thing.